Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be doing my trailer breakdown for Episode 3. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so Episode 2, last night, go check out my review. It was crazy. There were so many huge reveals and twists in the episode. So... Go watch that video because I freak out and we break everything down. This is going to be a little bit of a continuation. We're going to be talking about some of the stuff that potentially might be going down that is linked to what happened in episode 2. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. Okay, so the first shot of the trailer is of the city and of this crowd. And now people are kind of panicking and apparently this is actually a recycled scene. Like, you definitely can recognize when... You know, the show sometimes reuse a couple of scenes, like if you remember back in Supergirl, they reuse this one scene of like the floor cracking and like a bridge falling down like a bunch of times. And so, obviously they weren't able to film some stuff outside, like the big crowd scenes like they normally would. So, they're basically reusing some footage, or it might not even be in the episode and that might just be in the trailer because sometimes they do actually do that. They just recycle for a trailer, but we'll have to wait and see. So it's not a new shot, however, let's move on to a new shot, and this is here. We got Barry right here, he is looking through what looks like some sort of glass, I don't know where he is, it looks kind of like Star Labs, so I'm gonna suppose this is, like, maybe halfway through the episode, and maybe at this point he's reflecting on what he's done in episode 1, because the choices he made, he was not a good guy, like, he was the villain of last episode, essentially, and so he's gonna be reflecting, and... There is going to be some major conflict between him and Iris specifically because he literally forced Iris to come back when Iris wanted to do the right thing. She wanted to do what a hero should have done, like what Barry should have done, and she wanted to stay back and get them out first before her. So obviously there's going to be some huge conflicts and I think Barry is reflecting on it here. So some of the shots in the trailer are the ones that we've seen recently in some recent promos because most of the footage we've seen in those big trailers is from 1, 2, and 3. And this is the finale, right? This is supposed to be the season 6 finale that they were going to have and it was going to be the final episode with Eva. Mirror Master is going to be gone after this episode and they're going to wrap up season 6 main storyline. And so that is what we're getting essentially. Episode 3 is going to be like a finale Although it isn't the final episode, like we're going to get an episode literally the week after. So it's going to be crazy. I can't wait. Yesterday's episode was absolutely nuts. And I think it's going to be very hard to top with what went down in that episode. But it's going to continue on from that. And so, yeah, let's move on to the next shot. We got this shot right here. I'm not actually sure what this is. It does look like some sort of reflective surface. So maybe this is where Eva is coming in at one point. I really don't have a proper clue as to where that is. However, they are blocking away and they're pulling down the shutters in Star Labs. So maybe somehow they're trying to get all the reflective surfaces away, like cover Star Labs in darkness. Or maybe it's some sort of trap to somehow lure Eva here. I'm not 100% sure, but you can see in the next shot, and it isn't like a properly composed shot because I believe they're missing like half the frame because they're completely cut off at a weird angle. It sort of leads off from my last point saying that I think they are setting some sort of trap to lure Eva into Star Labs because Eva and her clones are wreaking havoc over the city and that's what was teased at the end of last episode when a mirror version of a CCPD officer got pulled in. I believe that's what Eva is going to be doing this episode to get her clones. And so we got a shot here of Joe. He is using his radio. He's inside CCPD. It seems like CCPD is in some sort of lockdown because they are getting attacked. And we know that Sue's going to be in this episode. We've seen in a past trailer, Sue is actually dressed up as a CCPD officer. So I don't know how she's going to do that. Is she going to knock like an officer out, take their clothes? And is she going to help Joe? It seems like she's probably going to help. And so then we go back to Star Labs and how last episode ended. Iris was having a seizure on the ground. And you see Barry right here. And I believe this is actually either a continuation or it's the exact same shot where Barry puts Iris down to the ground. Barry realizes, what the hell am I doing? And he shoots the artificial speed force, essentially zapping his body of all speed and in the trailer he says I don't have my speed so how is Barry gonna get his speed back now that is a theory we're gonna touch on in just a second but as you can see Iris is still down throughout this episode 
or at least a chunk of the episode because you can see her here and she's lying down on some sort of medical table probably in the medical bay and Barry's talking to her and to do with my theory as to how Barry is going to get his speed force powers back it could have something to do with Earth 1 Harrison Wells now he is back and I'm presuming he's going to come he's going to meet Team Flash I don't know exactly how that's going to go down however he is incredibly smart, and if anyone's going to create a new speed force that works, it's going to be a Harrison Wells, right? After all, he is the one that created the particle accelerator explosion that gave Barry his powers in the first place and created all these metahumans. What's to say that he can't create a speed force? So he could, number one, make a new speed force, like a completely different artificial speed force. That could be a thing. However, Eric Wallace, the showrunner, has said that the artificial speed force, or any artificial speed force, is extremely temporary. So it seems like what they're going to have to do is somehow revive the organic and the original speed force. So is Barry going to get his powers back via Harrison Wells somehow able to tap into the original speed force? It could very much be, and I really don't think they're going to go with another artificial speed force considering the massive ramifications that this last one caused in last episode where Barry literally went berserk, he turned into an actual villain because he lost all emotions even though he had his full flash powers back and obviously now he has taken away his powers, he sacrificed what he had before, obviously not in like a good way but he kind of realised I'm a terrible person for what I did and so he retracts his speed, destroying the artificial speed force. Okay, so going back to the trailer and what is going on with Iris, it seems like Iris is actually dying. And even though we know she's going to pull through in this episode, it's going to have such effect on Barry because now he has his emotions back and he realized what he's done, how selfish she was pulling Iris back and Iris wasn't even ready to come back and that's probably part of the reason why she's having these seizures and why she's on the brink of death. It's all Barry's fault and coming after this is going to be a huge strain in their relationship. Number one, Barry didn't even realize Iris wasn't even there. Iris wasn't the real Iris. It was a mirror version of Iris, right? That's number one. Number two is he literally just dragged her out without her saying yes. She was literally saying, no, don't take me, take them. We need to find a way. So a lot of stuff is going to go down between them. So we move on in the trailer and we got this shot and there's like four Reavers down here and they're causing havoc. There's an explosion. I think a car's on fire. And then you go over to this next shot. We got Barry here and he's lying on the ground it seems like he's been in some sort of fight presumably with Eva I'm not sure if he's got his powers back by this point but he's gonna need his powers otherwise what's the point in you know suiting up and doing anything like he might as well just send Killer Frost and Cisco and everyone else to go after Eva then we go over to the next show we got Chester Chester is back in this episode he was in the episode before however he was amazing in the premiere so I'm looking forward to seeing more of him We've got Eva and her army taking in some hostages it seems Team Flash is going to have to come to the rescue for this guy. You got this shot right here. This is really cool of Eva and her army. And you can see there's like a bunch of duplicates. I don't know if they're going to look exactly the same as Eva. However, they're going to have the same costume. So it's going to be like duplicates, but taking over other people. So in the CCPD, Joe is in a sticky situation as Eva Eva, or probably more likely one of Eva's clones, is trying to grab Joe from inside this reflective surface. And so I reckon at this point, Sue is probably going to help him out. Like I said, she's going to be back in this episode. So back on the streets of Central City, you have this crazy pink light going on in the background. And you've got explosions going off. This car is on fire. And you can see all these clones wreaking havoc. So again, outside, because you can tell by the lighting, you've got Barry suited up as the Flash. And it seems like he's trying to take on these Eva clones. Obviously, he's going to have the help of Team Flash. We've seen that from behind the scenes photos. And we've seen this as well. Up these stairs, there's like a bunch of Eva clones and they're shooting their weapons at Innocence. Back at CCPD, you've got Joe. He's pulling out his gun. It seems like someone has come out of the mirror. Whether it's Eva or not, Joe is going to be fighting for his life as CCPD is invaded. And the final shot of the trailer is kind of interesting because it's this shot right here and it's upside down. And someone is breaking into a place. I presume it's CCPD. I flip the image around. And I looked and I just can't tell who this is. It may just be a random person. However, they have glowing eyes, much like what we saw with Sing and Camilla last episode. So it seems like this person might be inside the Mirrorverse because I don't think it's possible for it to happen outside of the Mirrorverse. 
and just from looking at this it definitely isn't one of our team flash members or sing and so it might be just like a random person that they pulled into one of the mirrors and it's like a side effect that we saw and it's going to affect someone else in this episode also probably it's going to continue to affect camilla and sing because they were knocked out this episode and obviously iris is going to go back into the mirrorverse to try and save them at some point in this episode because they're not going to leave them behind and especially cisco is not going to leave camilla behind so they're going to be on the hunt to try and get back into the mirrorverse and get them out safely and actually help Iris as well at the same time. And so all of this crazy stuff is going down. Whilst also you have Harrison Wells from Earth 1 supposedly showing up. But I guess there's a chance that they might wait until episode 4 to bring back Harrison Wells. Because I believe that may have been the cliffhanger for the finale last season. Because they did mention something to do with Reverse Flash happening. So maybe this was just it. But for now... Thank you guys so much for watching, if you did enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe and turn on notifications if you are new to not miss any videos. Also remember I uploaded my Flash episode 2 review slash breakdown last night, we freaked out so go check out that video. Also I just uploaded a couple of hours ago my Superman Lois episode 3 review slash breakdown so go check that out as well. But for now I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see.